Well, 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 things continue to get interesting in the world of record sleeves and record storage. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. So a little while ago, the folks at BCW reached out to me and said, hey man, can we send you some of our stuff to check out? I said, sure. I always love, I always love checking stuff out. I didn't realize they're gonna send like multiple boxes of all of their products, but that's what I have here. I'm gonna go through some of this. I, I can't review all of this in a video, it's just too much, but I wanna focus in on a couple of key things. But I also found the letter interesting. It just goes to illustrate that the competition for record sleeves, inner sleeves and outer sleeves, is really picking up. Anyway, check this out. This is from Jeremy. And he is their music category manager. He's also a, a viewer of this channel. He says, hey Frank, hope all is well. Been a long time subscriber, channel 33 RPM. And love what you do to inform, discuss, and celebrate music in all its forms. Awesome, Jeremy, thank you so much, man. And this is, this is where it gets interesting. He says, in January, BCW Supplies, like last January, January 22. In January, BCW Supply is a leader in the hobby supply business. Hire me to become their first music category manager. So that's the first thing. They're stepping things up, hiring a music category manager. It says, since joining the company, we have taken a deep dive into the music category, ensuring we offer high quality products at competitive prices to help protect, store, and display record collections of all sizes. Now, there, it goes on to say, introducing new products. It says, November, we officially expanded our line of vinyl record supplies, adding 21 products including some new three mil traditional polyethylene outer sleeves. I'll show you that. He talks about how the, the, the bunch of stuff. So let's go through some of this. Channel 33 RPM. Sent these, these are seven inch record sleeves, polyline, polyline black. When I use my, when I use inner sleeves, I like them to be polylined. That's my jam, man. Here is some uh, outer sleeves, two mil, four 45s. Some seven inch, some jackets, some jackets for seven inch and some, um, stick in there, some polypropylene seven inch bags. I went through some of that fast because there's 12 inch versions, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, where should I go first? Let me show you this first because I thought this was, oh, this was pretty cool. They have these boxes that they sell for uh, 12 inch records and for seven inch records. I've been using mine already, man. I've been using this already. The thing is, if that's collectors, right? We have our, okay, I'll speak for myself. I have my main collection. Then I have records that I'm still listening to or just come in, I wanna pay more attention to. I have those in separate boxes. And then I have records that are leaving the collection or records I will, be leaving the collection. And that's what I'm using these for right now. They fit a lot of records, man. I don't know how many are even, how many fit into here, does it say? Uh, 65 records, it says. I'm not sure exactly how many I have in here, but I've stuffed it full of records and I put these in my closet. I got a couple of them. And when the time comes, I'm gonna price them and sell them, I guess, or trade them or something. And uh, to go with that, they sent these record dividers and the record dividers are so important. They fit perfectly in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them in these boxes. I'm probably going to use them on my record shelves. I'd like some more dividers there. So these are plastic, right? You can write on there. I like it. I dig it. So I really appreciate those. He sent the 45 version of them as well, but those are going to get a lot, a lot of good use. But anyway, okay, inner sleeves, inner sleeves. These are 12 inch anti-static sleeves. This variety, right? I've used those in the past, I dig them. I always like to use um, anti-static sleeves for my inner sleeves or lined sleeves. I'm not the guy who uses plain paper generally. So here's some poly lined ones, right? I like, now do these have anti-static qualities to them? Uh, I don't believe they do, but the benefit of having some of that plastic in there, right? It's not as harsh on the record 
as just the paper. But they do sell the paper sleeves. I know a lot of people still like those. It's the more affordable option, right? There's the white ones. There's the black ones. Uh, what else did they send me over? Some record jackets. These are just generic record jackets. I know a lot of DJs, for example, use these for the 12-inch singles. So I will put uh, many of those to good use. But this is what I wanted to focus on in this video is, is the outer sleeves. So they sent me a whole bunch. They sent me a whole bunch. Uh, this first one is, well, check this out. First, I'll go to these ones. These are the traditional ones that Jeremy was talking about in that letter, right? So these are pro polypropylene. They are mm, a lot clearer. These are polyethylene. These are the ones, I call these the traditional record sleeves. Let me show them to you. As soon as you see them, you'll recognize them. Every record store sells these. They're these ones, right? Can't really see through them. They're, semi they're transparent, a little bit cloudy. Those are the basic ones, right? Those are the kind I used for years. I don't use those ones as much anymore, but definitely a market for them. They do the trick. I prefer the crystal clear look. That really makes the your album jacket pop. But yeah, those are what I would call the traditional outer sleeve. Now we're gonna get to the polypropylene ones. These are the clearer ones. These are it's made in China. So the company's based in USA, Indiana products made in China. But this is interesting. They sent over a few different kinds, different sizes, different sizes. And a lot of people don't realize this, but record jackets are not necessarily consistent in size. There's the single LP jacket, there's the gatefold, but not even that. Sometimes just the the dimensions of them are different and not consistent. So it's gonna have a variety of sizes, right? So let me show you a couple of these. So here is a 12 and three quarter by 13. These are two, what size is this? 12 and three quarter, this is two mil polypropylene. If I had one wish for these guys, it would be to produce thicker outer sleeves. I prefer these thicker ones. I know they cost a little bit more, but I don't mind spending a bit more for thicker sleeves, but. Uh, this is one size, 12 and three quarter by 13. That's these ones. These ones are 12 and three quarter by 12 and three eight. So the measurements get confusing after a while, right? 12 and three quarter by 12 and three eight. And these ones have the sealable flap. Oh, a lot of guys like those. And the final ones are these 12 and five eight by 12 and five eight. So let's just try sleeving a few records with these. So the first one, Plain old, single record, no gatefold here. By the way, this band, I'm gonna talk about them in a different video, Bat Fangs, really good. So which one should we try first? This is the smallest one. It's got the sealable flap on top. There you go. Fits a single record sleeve nicely. Again, this is 12 and 5 eighths by 12 and 5 eighths, sealable flap there. That works. I'm curious to see, here's a double LP, two records, gatefold sleeve. I wonder if that would fit into this smaller sleeve. Eh, it might, I don't want to force it in. I'm fine with these, the seams split easily, so that would, um, it's a good chance it split the seam. So a couple more here. These ones here are both 12 and three quarter wide. This is 12 and three eight high, and this one's 13. So I'm gonna guess that these ones, 12 and three quarter are more meant for the double LPs, the gate folds, that kind of thing, but let's try it out. There we go. That fits this gatefold album sleeve perfectly. So now let's try this one. This one is the same width, but it has a sealable flap on top. Let's see how that one works with a jacket, with a double LP. Okay, yeah, it goes in pretty easy. There we go. But you'll see here, it doesn't quite work. There's the resealable sticky tab. It's a double LP. This flap doesn't quite reach the sticky tab, so that wouldn't work. So if I was using these, if you're gonna buy the BCW ones, 
For outer sleeves, for double LP, I'd recommend the 12 and 3 quarter by 13s. And for the single LPs, I'd recommend the 12 and 5 eighths by 12 and 5 eighths. Those seem to work. So yeah, man, I got a lot to go through. Jeremy, thank you for sending this. I'll be interested to see what you guys come up with long-term on other sorts of products. Love these boxes. Love the dividers. Inner sleeves are cool. Thank you very much. All right, 33 years. What sort of record sleeves do you use? What sort of inner sleeves? What sort of outer sleeves? Let me know in the comments below. If you dug this video, I think you'll like this other one up on the screen as well. I'll see you there in a couple of minutes. Until then, keep on spinning.